we just don't have the infrastructure. And that, that's really the key problem. Uh, it also has a, a, a public image problem from the Hindenburg. I mean, I know that's ridiculous, but people still equate hydrogen with the Hindenburg. And so that's something that we're just going to have to get over with an educational campaign by the car manufacturers. Um, but because of these these issues of infrastructure and tra and safe transport and per and fossil free production of hydrogen, you know those are three big hurdles to get over to put this into uh, the national mainstream focus. The neat thing with the hydrogen technology is it is it is very efficient and very innovative. Uh, basically, what you're doing is sending a an electrical signal through a water molecule and separating the two components of it there. So as we all know, we have an abundant source of hydrogen and oxygen. So the, idea, the, the basic component of hydrogen fuel cell technology is based on the fantastic ideal that we have an endless supply of it. And basically, it doesn't destroy it. It doesn't manipulate it any. It's just a, a very uh, simple procedure. Uh, the point is, is we're not digging up new sources of energy. We're just harnessing the energy that's around us right now. And I think that's where the romance with hydrogen develops, is because it is a completely new way of thinking about dealing with our energy needs in America.